Hi, I'm Pam Hayes from Hayes Sewing Machine Company, and today we're going to be talking about invisible zipper feet. Bernina's invisible zipper foot is number 35, and Baby Locks is just zipper foot invisible. If in your sewing career you want to put an invisible zipper in, you do have to have an invisible zipper foot. It is considerably different than your traditional zipper foot and you'll see how it has the channels or grooves underneath. There are two and there's a definite bridge or divider, I should say. You'll also notice there's a very tiny hole. That one needs to go into the front so your needle will go down. A couple of other things that you need to do for prepping and using an invisible zipper when you're working with an invisible zipper, again, considerably different than what you're going to get with the ones that have exposed teeth. You'll notice it has a little tab, but the teeth are kind of underneath. You need to, when you're first working with your invisible zipper, you're gonna take and you need to roll the teeth away and you need to press that so that it's in the rolled position. Unlike a traditional zipper, which quite often they have you baste your material, you're going to be using, again, single individual pieces, not a seam sewn together. So, when we line this up, again, we're going to take it and you're, we're going to line the edges together. Traditionally the start of your zipper is here. If you wanted it closer to the top, move it up, but again it's a nice marking for you. So when I line the edges up, we're going to take and we're going to use the two grooves. We're going to focus on the two tiny groove here and there. Because of the side that I'm doing, I'm going to be working with the right groove. And when I start to stitch, I want to make sure it's close enough. And I think I can get a little closer. So you're going to move your needle position. There you go. I like that a little bit better. Now, one of the things when you move your needle position, don't close is good, don't get too close because um, if you can't close the zipper without catching the fabric, that's not good. As we sew, there you go, pull my thread out of the way. Trying to keep the piece lined up and you're going to sew down as far as you can. That's the first side. And take a look. So see how we want to get as close to those teeth in that groove as we can. To get it lined up for doing the next one, I like to close my zipper. All right, so you can see how it's gonna look very nice. I like to close it so I get an idea of how to line up for the next side. So you can see how, again, this is here, this is on the other side. I have my edges lined up again, but remember to sew this, you must open it up. Now on this one, we're going to be doing the other groove, so the left side. So here, you'll notice I put my teeth over on the left side. And as we start to go, we're just gonna sew down. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say.
and we're just going to sew all the way down. Again, we want to be in that groove. So again, you can see it's right in that section. Now, when we close it, look at that nice invisible zipper. 